On the banks of the river Alma in Paderborn, military police and forensic experts are slowly, methodically sifting through tons of soil, shovel by shovel, box by box. They're looking for clues to explain what happened to Catrice Lee. The two-year-old went missing in 1981 from a Naffy supermarket in nearby Schloss Neuhaus on her second birthday. Her father, Richard, was a staff sergeant posted here with the British Army at the time. He's always believed she was abducted, a theory he says is only being investigated properly now. I'm bitterly angry. Um, I don't blame this team that's doing their job. They weren't there 36 years ago. Um, however, I was asked the question by the Royal Military Police, uh, can I forgive them? My answer is I will never forgive them. Not for the trauma that my family's had to troll through, and it's taken this length of time for my family's views to be taken into consideration. Last year, military police released an EFIT image of a man who'd been seen with a young child at the time Catrice went missing, and an eyewitness sighting of a green car the following day on the road bridge above this site has led to the search. A green saloon car is of interest. The man in the photo fit is of interest and obviously you know a similar child or a child similar to Catrice was seen getting into a green saloon car. The Royal Military Police and Catrice Lee's family are hoping for two very different outcomes to this excavation. The RMP are looking for clothing or any evidence to indicate what happened to Catrice. Her family however are hoping they find nothing because they believe Catrice, who had a hereditary eye condition and may now look like this, is still alive, and that this five-week search will bring them closer to finding her. Martha Fairley, ITV News, Paderborn.